Thanks so much, Dan. Look who we have in the studio. We haven't had this many musicians in a long time. I'm telling you. And I'm happy. And these guys are going to be happy. You're, this is Criminal Outpost. Now, if you look at the end, you might know our friend Calvin Rivera, who's been here before. And we, he actually sang an uh, Ed Sheeran song for us before. I did. Yes. How would you feel about your performance? Crushed it, like always. Uh, yeah, you did. That's great. And he's humble, too. And he's humble. He's humble. Right. Uh, we want to introduce <laughs> the band. So uh, Alec is the lead singer right here in the center. Alec, can you introduce everybody in the band for us? Yeah, so my name is Alec. I'm the lead singer. Uh, Calvin here is obviously our guitarist. Uh, backup singer, we got Parker. He's on the drums. Nick here plays the bass. And we got Nate as well on the guitar. Awesome. Okay, so can I just uh, talk about how you put the group together? Because yeah. uh, usually people do get together with friends that, yeah. are, that are also musicians. Right. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so um, it, it sounds kind of cliche, but I, uh, I had a, a dream one night that I uh, was in a studio uh, with a mystery band, if you will, and I woke up that morning and I was like, I have to make that a reality. So um, I made a promotional post on Instagram. Uh, basically a flyer saying that, you know, I was looking for a band um, similar to the likes of a few different bands listed them and I, I was surprised with uh, a bunch of DMs from a lot of different guitarists, bassists, drummers and uh, they were actually the first group of guys that I chose to meet with and uh, it all just kind of worked out. Yeah, I'm trying. Yes. Uh, by the way, did you get my DM? Um, as I said, I'm a tambourine player, oh, but I don't, you know, I don't remember you getting back to me, Alec. And I play the shaker. You know, we can now, probably find if some If you want to fit us in you. just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. So how would you describe your sound, Alec? Um, so uh, I know we have been uh, classified as sounding uh, kind of like Foster the People, uh, Old Maroon 5. Um, we're an indie pop rock group. Um, so a lot of our songs vary, but it's, it's definitely in that, in that ballpark there. I have a good feeling about this mm -hmm. band. We heard you rehearsing earlier, and I mean, we were really blown away. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love it. And you guys have uh, some gigs coming up and a new song coming up Friday? Yeah, we do have a show uh, tomorrow night, which will be at Ernie Biggs Piano Bar. It's downtown Springfield. Uh, that'll be with uh, Crunchy Honey, our good friends, another band. And Crunchy the, Honey. Crunchy Honey, <laughs> great band name. Yeah. I would like to have been a fly on the wall when they came up with that <laughs> name, because <laughs> that would have been a great That's party. Good, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then we also have a single coming out uh, Friday, which is called Talking With Myself. We're very excited about that. And uh, that's the song we're going to be performing an acoustic version of for you guys today. Okay. Oh. Can I ask you, because you guys put this together right before the pandemic, this band, or during the pandemic? Yeah, does somebody else want to, I want to give somebody else a chance to talk, Calvin. Okay. Uh, so in 2020, um, what, August? O uh, October. Yeah. October. Yeah. 2020 in October, he made the post. I actually didn't even see the post. Some, one of my friends is like, oh, that's cool. And I wasn't looking to even get in band at all. Mm -hmm. And but I, then I met Alec, and I was like, dude, this is a done deal. <laughs> and yeah, I guess you could say it was like towards coming out of quarantine and stuff, people were finally starting to like be less afraid of the virus and stuff and coming out and talking. So we were getting together once a week at that point. Where do you guys rehearse, Nate? Uh, usually we rehearse at his house yeah. over there. We kind of like move from Parker place to here. place. He's the only one that's got like an actual drum kit though. So <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of guaranteed. Yeah. It's convenient. But it's a lot easier not to yeah. move it. Yeah. yeah. And today you're playing at Cajon, right? Which right. I love it's, and it really resonates well. And yeah. it's easy yeah. to travel. Right. Yeah. yeah it's a lot. I'm going to move this up here so that we can hear you. All sorry. right. And then we'll move it back. We'll move it back. Play. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so we'll be able to hear you. How long have you been playing the drums, Parker? Uh, since sixth grade. Sixth grade. Uh, sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Too much coordination for me. <laughs> we can't sing. Coordination. Like How long have you been singing, by the way? You're, you're in for a treat to hear him sing because I, I, your voice sounds so good and pure and it sounds familiar to me, like a familiar... Yeah. Sound. I don't. I, I don't know who it is, but I'm just saying. How long have you been singing? Because it's beautiful. Um, I've been singing my whole life. My uh, my dad was a singer as well. Um, he still sings, and um, yeah, I kind of got the the good genes from him, I guess. Uh, but I I was in choir throughout my whole life, so um, that really helped hone my skills that way. Awesome. We can't wait to hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, guys. Because guess what? Yeah. We we're gonna hear these guys as soon as we come back. Criminal Outpost. Stay right there. You don't want to miss it. Don't leave, seriously. Call your friends, call your neighbors. <laughs> Tell them all about uh, it. Tell them all about it. Tell them all about it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. And we'll move your microphone back down now. <laughs>